let's have a look at a um, very useful solution. It's a well navigator in CellSense. When you do um, multi-well plate scanning, you need some tool to help you to plan your positions where you want to scan with a super pattern. Um, if you're doing treatment on your cells in your multi-well plate, you want to make a note. If it's a, a repetitive experiment, you want it to be reproducible. This is where the multi-well navigator can help you. So you can pull out a multi uh, or the well navigator um, two window directly from the two windows to here. Just click it and it will be pop up like this. If you add on a new one, start a new well plate, um, just asking you all the existing position will be lost. That's fine. We just click yes. They give you the option for standard wells or you can do customized wells. So for example, if you have a 24 well, Standard, they're just going to be uh, predefined rows and columns and just click create. At this stage, um, it's a step by step instruction on how you can verify the positions. They ask you to move the stage to a position where it's uh, um, at this little shining dot here, representing for the first well. And uh, you use a three point to lock in the position for the first one, and next will stage move to. A6 asks you to verify the A6 position and then move to D6. After you finish all those steps, uh, the software will be establish the uh, position of your multi well and register at the, at the template there. So I just click cancel here. Uh, alternatively, if you are the, you pretty much only need to do this step once. Once you get that one done, you can just load your well plate. Um, if you have existing one, for example, I have existing 24 well, I just load it. Once I load it, you can see this position just pop up like that. And then you can use the first, like a, a target to, um, to go to any of the wells you want to go to. If you click on it, you can see the stage is actually moving to the uh, desired well. You can ver verify it just by looking at it. Uh, once you get this step done, next step will be um, uh, plan some uh, scanning patterns in each of the well. So open this one. They can ask you to scan or acquire image for single frames or, or multiple image alignments. Um, do you want to scan a large region or do you want to scan just one frame um, in multiple positions? If you choose this one, you have a further uh, options to do full well in or full well out. It's basically um, the options. Do you want to count in the edge to make the uh, the whole well complete or not? If you're doing single frames, uh, you can do a customized um, uh, rectangles. And here you can define the rows and the columns of the frames you want to do. For example, you can define the five by five. And you can spec specify the uh, row space or the uh, the column space here. Once you get this one done, click OK. And you can use this tool to apply your pattern to a particular well, for example, for those three wells. Um, after you apply the pattern, there's maybe nothing changed here. But if you go to Stage Navigator, where it's registered, all the positions. You can see it here. The position will be registered on the stage navigator as a position list. And if you go to position list, we did 25, sorry, five by five, three times. So you should have 125 positions here, or 75, sorry. Yeah, 75 positions here. And just bear in mind, uh, when you click here, use the uh, well navigator to plan your positions on the stage navigator, you only plan the X and Y. You don't really have a Z for each of the position. And next step before you experiment, you have to go to process manager um, to open a live window to validate the Z for each of the position. If you wish to, you can update the Z here. Uh, alternatively, if you have a ZDC on your microscope, you can use ZDC to set up an offset for all of this and do automatically um, autofocus uh, for your uh, image acquisition followed by this step. We'll show you guys that later.